Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarus. And this is our guest. Stu. <laughs> yes, at Stupid Senpai, S-T-E-W. Go follow her, great cosplayer. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that because I've seen her cosplay in person. <gasps> Hell yeah. What? LA Comic Con. Yeah. It's and now time. we're friends. <laughs> in this Besties. very pink room. Besties for the resties. Yeah. For the, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, so apparently Matthew McConaughey, uh, my friend, uh, is in a video game. And we're going to watch that. It's called Exodus. I have no idea what this is. No idea. Let's find out. Yeah. Never heard of this before. Have you? Are you really friends with Matthew McConaughey? Uh, I, 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 I worked on uh, The Wolf of Wall Street uh, with yeah. him back in Friends is a loose term. Oh. I ruined a take and I thought that he was going to kill me. And then he was really nice about it. Uh, cool. And I felt awful. <laughs> There's just a timing thing. And I ended up behind him when he said an important line. And I wasn't supposed to be there. And I just was like, trying not to run, but also, it was bad. Uh, like the Starbucks cup in Game of Thrones. Yeah, it was like that, except it was you me going, oh, cup. fuck. Yeah, you're like, oops. Mark Scorsese is going to come spank me in front of this whole office of men. Uh, and then they didn't do that. They were like, all right, let's reset. We understood. Like, all right, Curly, get out of the way. Yeah, the oh first AD God. came in and was like, I, we saw the problem. It's this. And I was like, thank you. Thank you for not killing me. I'm sorry I ruined that. Let's watch this trailer. Sorry. <laughs> Distracting. Uh. Wait. Oh, that is the game. Okay. What the fuck? That looks like a tie. That looks like a yeah. butthole. <laughs> Same thing. Hold that. We yeah. need to head back. Hold on. I'm getting a reading. Max! Oh, boy. Well, oh, that's not what you No. Is this a sequel to Interstellar? I was going to say it reminds me of Interstellar. Yeah. Right? What she found that day was a miracle. Oh, it's Starfield. It would be our salvation. Oh. To fight against the Celestials. Humanity's greatest enemy. The Cylons. This is it. Sci-fi stuff. Us. Holy shit. shit, okay. Stay down! The Celestials wow. hunted us down. I knew they'd keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. And I had to save her. I led them away from this world, away from her. We both knew the cost of using the gates. When you travel at light speed, time slows to a crawl. Oh, it's literally interstellar. It was only days for me, but an entire lifetime passed for her. You can't pass Matthew McConaughey in this. And in the chaos of those final moments. I think this is just an interstellar video game. Yeah. Come with me! Please! 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 I love you. Our service. Our sacrifice. It's literally a seed to world. What is happening? Seeds hope. Empires. It's like Halo and Interstellar. We kind of. Are the travelers. If one more video game uses views as their right. soundtrack. <laughs> Wizards of the Coast? Sure. Okay. Well. Okay. Eh. <laughs> it's one of those things where in a bubble it would be really cool, but because I didn't see an original idea in the whole thing. Yeah. 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 It's some, some human has a super weapon to protect all of humanity from so it's Starfield. a powerful Starfield. They find threat. it at the beginning of the game. That's Starfield. Oh, isn't that also like, uh, well, and also like Halo is like the, there's these traveling gates and there is a no, threat to humanity. Like Halo is, but... Isn't that what the rings are? No, that's Mass Effect, which is the traveling gates. Oh, no, the I'm rings. Sorry. The rings are a weapon. That's a whole other thing. Okay. No, um, it's Interstellar with the like, oh, I left my person behind, but then yes. I traveled. Uh, and then and a, the a lot of the combat looked very like Destiny driven. Uh, it looked cool. a lot like like the one moment where he like slams the ground and it shoots the thing up. That yeah. is a literal thing in Destiny. Yeah. I'm just not I, to say this is gonna be bad. It's just like I don't think it's terribly exciting because I feel like I've seen a lot of it before. It's just weird to make it like Matthew McConaughey introduces our take on Interstellar as a video game. 
Yeah. But they, without Christopher Nolan to make it, like, Christopher wow. Nolan-y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that they're relying heavily on Matthew McConaughey being the selling point of the video game. Yeah. Whether it's, whether it's like, amazing or not. I think that if yeah. they didn't have Matthew McConaughey as the main, this game probably wouldn't get as much attention, attention. Yeah. or attraction. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I think you're right. Because it does just seem kind of like... It was very Something we've already seen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that doesn't mean that it's bad, and it might be a great experience, It right? might be a lot of fun. And that's what's so fascinating about, like, video games as a genre, is that once we get our hands on it, it might feel like something else. I just think that the way they sold it here was so weirdly reminiscent of so many other things that it didn't do the best job selling itself as, like, something new. It just is sort of another game within a genre that has existed for a while. Yeah. And um, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. I'm also really curious what Wizards of the Coast's part in this is. But uh, yeah, any last thoughts on it? No, not really. I probably won't be playing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Here's the thing. It's not for me, I don't think. Nice for Yeah, yeah. If someone is like, actually, like, this game is freaking incredible. And like, there was, I mean, I don't really play shooters, but... I do, I did, I have to say, like, the effects of how, like, whatever weapon or thing that they found that he was using, like, it looked like there was something cool to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I, I I, yeah, I don't know if this is going to really capture my interest, because I've seen Interstellar, so. It's, it's definitely something that I will wait for yeah. someone to tell me that it's amazing. I'm not going to buy this day one. Yeah. No. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of how much hype there was for, like, No Man's Sky. Mm. with like that whole mm. vibe oh, and yeah. how much they sold just like the expensive open world and then everybody got it and we were just kind of like mm. no, yeah but yeah. To, to go off that now no man's sky is great right yeah it just took and them what eight years <laughs> destiny look i did not love launch destiny mm -hmm. destiny eventually became a game that it became very worth playing right? right i don't know that this is going to have that life service kind of element or in no man's sky the like endless playability element this seems sort of narrative focused i could be wrong about that yeah, yeah. I, think so. um, yeah. I think so but become the traveler makes me think that this has a little bit more of a story to it yeah, yeah. um even more so than say starfield uh yeah so i don't know in a world where like star citizen is out no man's sky has become a really wonderful game and uh starfield has it's the people who love it yeah um I think that this game is just coming in a weird time of sci-fi games where it's going to have to sell the fuck out of what it is mm -hmm. yeah. to compete with yeah. a field that, that's kind of loaded right now with yeah. really... And even, like, Destiny is still running to, like... is still doing well, right? They just launched their uh, latest patch. And so I think that you're just putting this in at a weird time. And I don't know. It didn't do enough for it me. Could, it could yeah. easily get lost in a sea of other yeah. sci-fi games yeah, yeah that's fair if you like the video like and subscribe to the channel if you don't hit the dislike button leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her this episode that algorithm goddess is christopher nolan because he's hungry to make this game unique <laughs> christopher nolan has never played a video game probably not. i don't think he has a i don't think he's even played like candy crush <laughs> i would he I, played flappy bird variety probably Variety, you do those things where they like answer, you, you do all the videos on the, the weird ones with the celebrities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would pay you good money to get Christopher Nolan to play Flappy Bird in a video. Please. Pl yeah. It's or, or, or Candy Crush or like <laughs> Clash of Kingdoms or some bullshit Subway like that. Subway Surfers. Subway Surfers. <laughs> oh my God. Christopher Nolan playing Subway Surfers would be a billion view video. Mr. Beast would be That's crushed the dream. Yeah. because That's the he would dream. never be able to touch those views. Yeah, truly. If you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Kolaris Polaris. And our guest. I'm at Stupid Senpai. Yeah, that's S-T-E-W. Go follow her. Great cosplayer. Uh, new friend. And, um, Hell yeah. We will escape the pink room at some point, but not, not today. Not today. Do something nerdy tonight, y'all. Bye. Bye.